welcome to Dream Again Africa. Dream Again Africa. We are here today to take you through the process of entrepreneurship, starting with the entrepreneur themselves and then walking you through the journey of establishing your business. We are here to empower you. We are here to equip on resources, on tools, qualities, and all that you need to run a successful business. Today, what we are focusing on, we are focusing on the entrepreneur themselves, the driver of the business, who stands behind this business as the power where leadership flows, where authority flows, where energy flows, where motivation flows. We identify who is the entrepreneur, what are the qualities that make up a great entrepreneur. And to help us delve into just that, today we have Sandile. Sandile, welcome, welcome to the show today. Thank you very much, Riyadazi. Uh, it's a great honor and a privilege to be here. Uh, and uh, hello to the uh, viewers uh, at home um, watching the show. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit uh, that I know um, and, or that I've experienced when it comes to this space of, of entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship in Africa. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Sandy Le Phillips is a business professional being involved in dealing with entrepreneurs on a day-to-day -day basis. So he's here to just take us through what energizes them to support entrepreneurs, to find entrepreneurs, what kind of qualities do they look for in the space of capital raising. So Sandy Le, first thing I would really, really want to know what are the great qualities of a good entrepreneur? Thank you. Uh, that, that's, that's a brilliant question. Um, if you look at the entrepreneurship space, uh, I think perhaps a, a disclaimer first. Uh, I'm, I'm not a full-blown entrepreneur. I still get a, a salary at the end of the month. Uh, so I've taken the safer route uh, where your, your paycheck is already in your pocket and you, you just need to work for it uh, so that you get it at the end of the month. Uh, I think I admire the entrepreneurs, I mean, because there is no guaranteed paycheck at the end of the month for them. Wow. Um, qualities, I mean, that one looks at, depending on, on which stage um, uh, an entrepreneur uh, in the journey uh, he, uh, he or she is, um, mm -hmm. uh, if you are starting up um, uh, versus somebody who's had a number of businesses and failed businesses, there's different, um, um, uh, you know, ways of looking at, the, at, 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 an, at an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur who starts, uh, it, it's critical uh, that you have passion. Um, uh, generally, people get into the entrepreneur, in entrepreneurship space to make money. Uh, and at the end mm -hmm. of the day, I mean, we want to make money and support our families. Uh, but if that's the only thing that's driving you, uh, you are definitely going to, you know, you're not going to sustain your journey as an entrepreneur. So it's important that you are passionate about uh, about what it is that you are offering. Just um, take us through just one step further when you talk about passion. Yes. How do you define that? Yeah, passion. Um, it, I'm passionate about, um, I, I'll, I'd like to call myself a business professional who has traits of a social activist. So I like to see development in others and uh, I use mostly education uh, in that space. So I'm passionate about education. Um, so I would do anything, I would always drive and, and look for solutions when it comes to educating the African child and making sure that the African child uh, thrives. Um, so you need to be passionate about what you are delivering. Uh, uh, it needs to keep you awake at night. Uh, you need to open doors. It needs to force you to go and knock at doors uh, and be bold. Um, yeah, that's what passion drives. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so I would define passion as as, as that something where mm. you wouldn't be scared to go and knock at a businessman's uh, door because yeah. you are being driven by coming up with a solution. Yes, by um, something bigger than, than be just uh, the money. You mentioned earlier that. Um, you want, should it just come to business just to make money? And I really just want to uh, clarify that because uh, there's a lot of people who do come to business purely to make money. But we understand that we, uh, businesses are to solve pro uh, problems and mm -hmm. also to bring solutions to the community and then money is, the by, is, is a byproduct. Uh, uh, Why that? Why uh, so? If you are in it to make money and come 
two months, three months, you're not making money, uh, you, you, your drive is going to die. Uh, but it, if it is passion that drives you, you might not be making money. But if you, if my intention of getting into whatever business, if it's in, if it's in education or if, if it's in sports or if it, it's to provide um, uh, accounting solutions for entrepreneurs or, or small businesses, yeah. For as long as I'm seeing the contribution that I'm making uh, towards the cause that drove me to get into a business or drove me to be an entrepreneur, mm. I will remain driven. Mm. Um, and, and money will be, as, you, as you've mentioned, right, rightly so, that it will be a byproduct. Mm. And then you can commercialize um, you know, the solutions that you are bringing, uh, but it's driven by passion. If my objective is to provide accounting solutions for smaller businesses, and I can see that I'm helping those businesses prepare good uh, business plans, I'm helping those businesses to, to make good business decisions because of, 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 of the accounting solutions that I'm providing, then I can see that I am contributing, you know, mm -hmm. and then that drives the passion to do more. And then I can find ways then of commercializing that, uh, mm -hmm. and, and then money will be the byproduct. So it's important that you are passionate. You know, if I, if I make an example for a few entrepreneurs that are that are that I've come across, mm -hmm. there's a gentleman I mean who is a business professional, but he's also an entrepreneur, and he's um, he he he's was driven more by a need at home. Uh, he needed to provide sustenance uh, in his family, so he started a business. You know, and his passion was to make sure that he provides for his family and and the community around him. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and it was never to make money. But in the process, the business grew, uh, and they and, and he ended up helping the whole, whole community. community. And his business is growing outside of just his community throughout the country. So passion is critical. So you find that uh, those entrepreneurs who are driven by something bigger than money, mm -hmm. do, do do you see that in the marketplace they are more successful? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, like I mean, this gentleman that I'm I'm, I'm mentioning, uh, for him, yes, I, I think he is lucky because he, he's got a professional. Uh, qualification. Uh, a lot of entrepreneurs out there, uh, generally, they get into the space uh, as a means to an end. They don't have either a, a, a formal qualification, they yeah. don't have a business degree. Uh, so I think that's where they pay heavy school fees uh, because reality is uh, when a funder comes into your business or, or you're going into a funder to apply for funding, they want to see records. They, there's certain things that they want to see. They want to see governance in your business. They want to. They want to see how do you record your your numbers. How do you do your budgeting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm. A guy who just has an idea does not know what else you need to run a successful business. Uh, mm. Whereas this gentleman that I, the, the the gentleman that I'm referring to now, he has a business qualification. I mean, he's an MBA. He's a chartered accountant. Uh, he's a CFA charter. Uh, so he has all the ingredients um, uh, in terms of in term, to, yeah yeah. And for me, it's for those individuals uh, to blend what those guys have. Uh, with a guy who has a brilliant idea but does not have those qualities. It's to blend the two. Um, which brings me to the other point that one of the qualities of an entrepreneur is to make sure that you are willing to learn from, the, from others. Willingness to learn from others. That's one of the key points. We are here, as you've heard, Sandile today is talking about really a businessman that is doing well in business, but they were fortunate to have the support of being able to have access to good education. We are here on Dream Again Africa, understanding that not everyone has got the opportunity to, to have those funds to go to great organizations. We are here simply to guide and to lead, and we hope to provide you with great information for in business information is power and you never reach a point where you have arrived so today we have Sandile here to just talk us through the qualities as we uh, uh, just stay tuned as we delve deeper into more qualities of what makes a great entrepreneur thank you yeah yeah we we get a lot of, of, of applications I mean at a bank that I work for uh, where Sometimes it's a it's a it's a business that hasn't been uh, exi in existence mm. for, for for that long. That's uh, a startup. It's, it's a startup, mm. um, which is and, our and, focus and, today. Yeah. yeah, and if you think about it, I mean, uh, our our country and and generally our 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 financial institutions are actually being criticised for not being geared up to mm. support um, entrepreneurship uh, or, or or startups. Mm. Um, um, 
and sometimes right, rightly or, 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 or wrongly so, uh, because I think it's a two-way street. Uh, banks obviously uh, use uh, a combination of clients' monies. They use shareholders' monies. They borrow as well to, to fund. So there's a lot of... Um, oh, oh the it, bank, it's not their own money. <laughs> no, it's a combination. You know? So okay. a, as a result, there's a lot of regulations on the banks uh, to make sure uh, that, you know, whatever money that you, you lend, uh, the chances of it coming back is higher because you don't want to find businesses where money is not going to... It's not just... It's not your money that you, you're lending. Uh, mm -hmm. It's other people's money as well. Okay. So you need to put measures in place to make sure that money comes back. Uh, so that's where I think an entrepreneur has to play a massive role. Uh, that where, that's where that passion comes in uh, and, 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 uh, and that sharing of knowledge from those that have already walked the walk um, to say, uh, if you want to go and apply for money at the bank, make sure that you keep proper records um, of whatever you've been doing. Yeah. So if you've been running your business for two years, from day one, yeah. make sure that you keep proper records of what you've sold, what you've purchased. So they are financial statements because you need to demonstrate um, that this is how I've started. This is how I've, 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 I've walked the journey in my business. This is how my business from, has moved from day one to where it is. Um, you need to demonstrate that there is a market that you're serving, uh, that you, you understand the space that you're in you, you, with, through a budgeting, you know, through market research that you would have done, uh, through relationship building that anyone who would be putting money either as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a loan or as a, as a, as a shareholder who's, who's mm. buying into your business, that they can gain confidence that uh, your business is, is making money and you will be able to retain my capital. Um, uh, you know, at, at the end of the at day. At the end you know? of the day. Yeah. So what we are recognizing here today is that, you know, when we start, at times when we are starting out our businesses, just because you purchased something, uh, maybe a product to sell, and because you're not yet dealing with the bank yet, so you just throw away those slips. So we are hearing now from the banker, one of the things that are important that they look out for is to make sure that there is record creeping, there is track record. There is just evidence of how you have spent in your business. How is your uh, expenses and how is your expenditure? How has it been going in order to create a record so they can see, oh, this is how much you have actually as an entrepreneur have managed to sometimes invest yourself, how you have sacrificed, whether it was a 500 rand, but how you first as an entrepreneur have invested in your own business in order to create confidence to the next person that you're truly prepared to put in. You're raising a valid point there in terms of actually, it's not just even recording what you're selling or yeah. recording what you're buying. It's a record. It's keeping records of what you've invested. That's mm. a valid point you're making because as an investor, uh, if, if, you, if you haven't put anything, why must I put money? You know, sure. so they, they generally, uh, either a bank or, or even a shareholder coming into your business, they generally would want to see, is there skin in the game? That, that's the term <laughs> that they use. What uh, is that term? Skin in the game, yeah. Uh, is so there have skin you, in the yeah, game? Have you put in skin in the game? Sure. It, you know, so it is important that you are demonstrating that you believe into this business yourself before you go to somebody else. Okay. Um, so you'd find that sometimes, I mean, even venture capitalists uh, that I've engaged with, uh, uh, funders that I've engaged with, they say they would rather fund a business that has either started and failed where somebody has put in their money uh, than funding somebody who has this um, pie in the sky idea, blue in the blue sky idea that hasn't been tested. Because mm. somebody who's failed, chances are they've, they've, they've lent from their failures, they won't do it again. Okay. Um, so they prepare to put money on somebody who's put their money first. Yeah. Wow. So it is important that you that this record keeping is not just to keep record of what you sell, but of money that you've put in as well. Let's talk um, about purpose in this it, business. It, purpose. I mean, if you look at the at, at great businesses um, that 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 have that have um, done well, if I. I um, uh, coming to mind at the moment, I mean, is is, is a business, uh, my growth fund, for example. Mm. Uh, it's it's a it's a it's a gentleman, Vusi, Vusi Tembegwai. I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. Uh, it, it's called my growth fund. I mean, the business is aimed at supporting. Um, 
businesses, small entrepreneurs, I mean, with brilliant ideas uh, and, and invest in them and then skill them up. Um, and it's one of the few, uh, if, if probably not the only, that's focused mostly on businesses uh, uh, that are startups. Um, so it, it, capital is key uh, in, 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 in this space. Uh, to have a bigger brother that believes in you, that would stand at, 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 in the bank and say, I'm supporting, I'm willing to sign surety for this young man. I believe in their idea. Uh, I, I believe in their passion. Um, you need a bigger brother. And I think these guys have, because of the passion that they have, they are able, you know, to, to raise capital uh, and, and support these young, young entrepreneurs. Yeah, because the idea is, I mean, if you support one entrepreneur, if he becomes successful, yeah. he, he, he's, he, it's the whole family, the whole community, because he will employ a lot of people. So these gentlemen are, are passionate about growth in Africa and growth uh, and making sure that they create and expand this un black entrepreneurship to support the families. Yeah. So passion is critical. Most uh, uh, young, especially young entrepreneurs coming into the business, when they come with that confidence that uh, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make millions on year two and all of that, and you find that some of them get so discouraged after not making that and go back to whatever else they were doing. And yet, there was great creativity there, there was great concept, but maybe there wasn't um, uh, enough tools and, 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 and a business acumen to be able to execute. What would be your advice? You can't, you can't, you can't be in an island, uh, or you can't be an island on your own. It's important that you learn from others, because uh, you avoid having to make the same mistakes okay. that others have made. All right. Um, you have the ability to learn from others uh, and 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 augment what they've already um, achieved. So it is important that you go to other entrepreneurs. It, it might not be entrepreneurs within your same space. Uh, guys that have already been uh, made a success of their business, where you, you go to them and ask, uh, my business is um, is growing now. Um, but I think it's growing too fast. Uh, um, what sort of ad advice can you give me? So have you experienced this in your business? Uh, who did you involve? I mean, did you involve a strategic partner okay. who would create new markets for you, etc., so mm -hmm. that you can avoid having to fail in two years? And I mean, they say uh, a lot of businesses fail within the first three years. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes as an entrepreneur, you need to be realistic. Uh, uh, you need to be patient uh, that and build a sustainable business as opposed to a business that would become uh, um, a paper fire, you know, yeah. that dies and within a year. <laughs> uh, you, yeah. you know, so you need to yeah. build for, for, for a long run okay. and, and you can build the right systems in the process. Let's imagine there's a viewer now that's just <laughs> walking in mm -hmm. right in the middle of this conversation and they've just missed all of what you've just said. Yes. And um, in summary, what would you say are your top priorities in just summary of what you have just said to us today? Yeah, in South Africa, they, they say uh, that there's, a, there's this misconstrued uh, view that the issue to entrepreneurs not getting there is funding. Um, there's, a, there's a theory that it's not funding. Uh, I think p people say it's, it's, it's the passion. Uh, entrepreneurs are unrealistic. Uh, with their objectives when they get into business. They want to make quick money okay. uh, and, 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 and be rich. A uh, lot of entrepreneurs that I've spoken to, uh, they've, they've had businesses failed a, a couple of times. So one thing I would emphasize, I mean, to a, an entrepreneur who wants to get into a space uh, and, and start a business is you need to have passion of what you, and it needs to be a solution um, that, that is needed uh, by, by, by your market. Yeah. Because uh, it's pointless, I mean, uh, if you look at, a, at, at our businesses, I mean, I would see a neighbor having a spaza shop and I would want to open a spaza shop next to the neighbor. Uh, it's the same market, you know, so we will be sharing them. There's nothing unique that I'm doing. So mm -hmm. it needs to be something that is needed uh, in, the, in the community uh, or, or by, by the market that you're serving. And again, I will emphasize that it is important that you keep records. Uh, of, of what you put in into the business. Because one day your business will grow, uh, or you'll run out of money, and then you'll need somebody else's money. Yeah. So it is important that you can demonstrate that this is how much money I've put into my business. Uh, I believe into this business, so 
can you help me? Because this is how much I've put in. They have, there's skin in the game that I've put in already uh, in, 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 in this business. Uh, and then be prepared to, to admit that you don't know. Uh, go to other entrepreneurs who've been in the same position as you. Because in so doing, you will avoid making the same mistakes, uh, the, the same mistakes that they've made. You can yeah. learn from them. You can, you can avoid making those mistakes. Uh, and at the same time, you learn some good practice as well. They will be able to point you to the right directions in terms of where you can get some funding, where you can get some support. Because you find that sometimes uh, entrepreneurs, it's not the funding issue, it's the support. Um, uh, I might not be good at, at, at accounting. I might not be good at people management. My mm -hmm. business is growing beyond now a one-man business mm -hmm. where I could, I could be the finance director, the bookkeeper, the marketing guy, the legal guy, and everything in one. My business now needs me to start trusting somebody else. You know, somebody who's been there would be able to tell you, dude, your business is growing now. Yeah. Uh, it is important that you start thinking about maybe employing a marketing guy. Uh, a social media person who's going to market your business, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and those are something that you learn by either reading, and it's important that entrepreneurs you don't have to go and have a qualification to acquire knowledge. Um, a read, it's important that entrepreneurs read. read. You know, a lot yeah. of successful entrepreneurs have read many books in their lives. Yeah. Uh, so th those would be the summaries that I, I, I would I, I would put out there for for an entrepreneur who wants you know to to stand a better chance. Of, of making it in this in this tough space. Uh, Great stuff! Wow! All right, I'm sitting here and I'm feeling empowered myself. <laughs> when can I start? <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Sandile. Um, if you've just walked in, um, we just want to take you through. If you can look at our screens and take out your phone, and then you can be able to take a photo of the screen right now that we are putting up of all the key points that someone who's working with entrepreneurs on a day-to-day -day basis have highlighted over the years as key and critical qualities and um, uh, operations of a successful business. That gives a confidence to a funder, uh, a person where you, can, where you can raise your capital in order to get your business started. We spoke about passion. We spoke about bringing a solution to the marketplace with your product or with your service. We talk about ensuring that you have support. It's not simply funding that we are able to uh, execute and run our businesses. Great support from the experiences of others who have been there before and done that. Some of the mistakes you don't have to repeat. So it's very important to know that you have your mentor, people that have walked that path before. And I think the greatest that has come through here today has been passion. The ability to be driven by something beyond just what you see, which is where faith comes from. For faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, even when others don't believe in you. As an entrepreneur, you carry the vision of that business. You see it in your mind, you see it in your heart, as the Holy Spirit has downloaded to you the vision and the direction for your business. So today, as we wrap up, we really would want to ask you, Sandile, just to, uh, to bless as we wrap up the uh, program today, after all this valuable information that you have shared with us, if you can just bless us with a short prayer. Yeah. Africa dream again. Um, <laughs> yeah. In the name of Jesus, mm. uh, we thank you, Father Lord, uh, for this day. Um, we thank you that uh, there are programs like this, uh, and uh, mm. we trust in you that you will augment uh, our wisdom uh, that programs like this in South Africa uh, and, and in Africa and the world will be multiplied, that mm. we will make the change and your name will be glorified and everybody um, who believes in you uh, will continue doing your work, Father Lord. We ask and, 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 and we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you You've very much, my sister. Really yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks Thank for the so invite much. as well. It, it is fantastic to be here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Help. God bless you.
Join us again next week as we continue to take you through the journey of entrepreneurship. We want to see the church rise up. We want to see entrepreneurs stand strong into doing business God's way, empowering ourselves with the word of God, hearing the leading of the spirit, educating ourselves, reading, empowering ourselves to be able to run businesses that will bless the next generation. So dream again, Africa. Dream again, Africa. Dream again, Africa. And follow us on all our social media platforms. Let's keep the conversation going. Good luck.